let's take a look at a legal problem called swap salary. So on the left, you can see we have a SQL salary table, right? We have four columns. Uh, we have ID, which is an integer, and it's the private key of the table. Uh, we also have name, which is a var character. And we also have sex, which is an enum, which has a type M, which represents male, and F represents female, right? Uh, we also have salary, which is an integer. Um, so you can see that this table contains information about, about the employee. And we want the goal for this problem is we want to write a SQL query, right, to swap all the um, F and M value, right? So change all the F values to M and vice versa, right? Uh, with a single update statement and no intermediate temporary tables. Um, so you can see here that uh, here is an example, right? We have a salary table. Um, and then you can see that on the sex column, we have two male and two female, right? And A has A is a male, C is a male, right? B is a female, D is a female. After the after we update the table, you can see that we have A becomes female and B becomes male, right? So you can see that um, 1A and 3C were changed from male to female, and 2B and 4D were changed from female to male, right? So now to solve this problem, let's try to understand how we can do this, right? So since we're looking to update a SQL table, let's take a look at how we can be able to update data in, in SQL, right? So you can see that for um, SQL updates, the syntax looks something like this, where we specify which table we want to update, and then we want to set uh, which the, the column value, right? Based on a certain condition, right? Or we don't have to. Um, but in this case, that's how we do a update in, in SQL. So now we know that, and how do we be able to, you know, be able to swap those values? In this case, if we were to use a where clause, right? Or a where condition, in this case, I can only address one. In this case, either um, either sex is equal to M, then I change to F, or I, I say if sex is equal to F, then I change it to M. Then in this case, I can only do one condition. So what I can do instead is I can use something like a case or um, kind of similar to like Java switch statement, right? So for example, in Java switch statement, right? We have switch uh, and which takes an uh, expression, right? And then what it does is that you can see here, based on a case, if this expression satisfy this case, then basically we're going to, you know, do something, right? In this code block. And then we break out of this switch statement. And that's what exactly the case function do in SQL. Syntax is something like this, right? We have our case and then we have our condition, right? So base, so maybe sex is equal to M, then we're just gonna, we're gonna set, you know, sex is equal to F, right? When sex is equal to F, we're gonna get sex is equal to M, right? So we can do something like this, right? So there's a couple of ways we can use, you know, case, um, or a case function in, in SQL, right? So you can, let's take a look at, you know, how we can be able to solve this problem, right? Using the case statement. And right? here you can see we have an example, right? Um, you can see that we're selecting here, but basically you can see when we're using a case, right? We have to set an end, right? Same thing for, um, you know, Java, right? We have to break out of the, 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 uh, the switch um, statement here, right? So he, same thing here, we have to end the case function. Um, and then he, you can see here, we have our condition, right? return a something that we want to return um, so let's take a look at you know a solution here so you can see where's our first update right we basically update selecting the table that we want to update and then we want to set so we want to say for this column is equal to and then here we have our case function and then here you can see for a case function right you can see here we have our when and then we have our condition so we say that when sex is equal to m then we're going to set sex is equal to f right Otherwise, we're gonna set sex is equal to M, right? Otherwise means that, you know, if this condition doesn't apply, right? If the conditions that we have above doesn't apply, then we're gonna return, or in this case, we're gonna return M to this value, right? So we're gonna set sex is equal to M, pretty much, right? And then we're just going to end the case function, okay? You can do it this way, or the other way you can do it in MySQL is that you can also um, just put this as an expression, um, it's kind of similar to like Java where you put in an expression and if this expression um, is equal to this thing or equal to this thing, right? If it equals this thing, then it will go through this code block and same thing like this. So you can see here, if sex is equal to M, then we're going to, you know, get sex is equal to F, 
right? Otherwise, it's going to equal to m. So basically, you can see this is how we solve the problem uh, by using a case function in MySQL to swap values.